going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ball Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Generations Legends Class Bombshell, or Hard Shell, or whatever Hasbro's calling him now. I'm going to call him Bombshell because that's what I think his name is. I'm smitten with this figure. This is a fantastic figure. And one of the things that I'm blown away by are the paint apps. On this figure, the paint is incredible. There are a few minor little glitches, like right here on the right shoulder where the pin is, but overall, the paint on this guy is superb. He's purple, gray, gold, red, and black. That head sculpt is alone worth the figure. I mean, it's they actually painted silver and left out little black part, the little black slots. And then his eyes are nice and red. His re The rest of the body is just really well painted and feels very high quality. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Now, if you look at Scrap Nail, you'll notice that the yellow is different. The, it's more of a gold here on the chest on Bombshell than it is on Shrapnel, who has just a yellow. And you'll also notice that the yellow on Shrapnel actually fades as it reaches the corners and then the edges. Not so with Bombshell. Just a very nice updated version of one of my favorite Decepticons. Transformation for this guy is really satisfying. It's easy, but satisfying. Start off with fold the antenna up and over his head. Then take the arms and put them out to the side. Rotate the hips 180 degrees. Put the legs together and fold out the bug feet, which uh, you really can't do at the same time. Fold the bug feet up and peg it into place. Then take the arms and fold them underneath the body such that the back of the forearms is pointing towards the inside of the bug mode. And then the forearms will peg together and we have our own little rhinoceros beetle. Oh, he is so cute and so well painted. Just so nice, so cool looking. Just absolutely fantastic. And then you have Scrapnel, who's okay, I guess. But compared to Bombshell, he's bigger. But Bombshell looks so much better. Just looks so much cooler. I'm smitten with this little figure. I think it's fantastic. I think Hasbro and Takara should be commended. They made a fantastic little figure that's a lot of fun, holds together well, looks fantastic, and is well painted. And to be honest, I didn't think a Hasbro figure would be well painted in this day and age. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this look and video review of Generations Legends Class Bombshell, or Hard Shell, or whatever the heck he's going by. I'm Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.